as well as collecting records, I've also seemed to start seem to have started collecting old computers. And some of these are indeed old Macintosh computers. I have a Macintosh Classic and a iMac G3 and plenty of other PowerPC based ones. But here's the Macintosh 2CI. And um you know it's go around the back here so you can see the back. There's all the connectors on it. The one for a disk drive uh, there, serial port, monitor, printer, modem, sound output and Apple desktop bus. That there I believe is some kind of network card or something, one that I'm not aware of. But you can replace that for an, for an Ethernet card, so potentially you could browse the internet with 1989 technology. That would be a very much of an interesting project. I've also got the StyleWriter 2 printer right here, which does work. This needs to get an ink cartridge. And I'll switch the monitor on. The switch is around the back. Unless it's already on. Oh no, here you go. And the power switch for the computer is also around the back. It's um, just there. That little thing that looks like a screw. And here you go. Okay. It did have system 7.6 on there, but I downgraded to 7.5.3. Yeah, welcome to Macintosh. Not sure what's on this disc. Where is it? Mac Paint, Mac Write Shop, Black Cafe, oh, fair enough. Alright. <sighs> so. Probably jump cut a bit because this startup does tend to take quite a long time. Okay, so it's loading up the desktop now. I'm sorry about the flicker, that does tend to happen with these cameras. But the screen looks really good when you see it in person. So let's go to about this Macintosh. System 7.5.3 running 8 megabytes of RAM huh, not too bad these things usually only have about 4 this is the Apple desktop bus mouse in case you're not aware of it and the awesome keyboard always love that keyboard so, um, oh here's a little easter egg if you hold down option and go to about this Macintosh hold on you'll get the old original finder how cool is that? <laughs> so, we've got some software on here. I don't think I've got that much. Let me quick demo what the sound effects are like on here. They're all the classic Mac sounds that everyone knows and loves. The volume. Okay. So, you've got a simple beep that you just heard. Yeah. That one's my favourite. And uh, here you go, another Easter egg. Hold down Option and go to the Alert Sounds menu and then release it. Wow! And there you go. <laughs> Pretty cool. I can find the discs. Where are they? Oh, yeah, here you go. Right. I think this is the right one. Do a quick demo of running games from a floppy disk. You go, here's uh, Shufflepuck Cafe. Classic Mac game. It is only in black and white though, which is unfortunate. This guy because he's easy. Butcher. 
Oh, how could I do that? Put that game now. Okay, so I'll show you a quick uh, Easter egg. If you go to you know, another Easter egg, this is I've already shown you a few. Go to date and time. This works on every Mac 2 CI. Set the date to the 20th of September 1989. Sorry, not September. No. 20 slash 9 dash 89. Can't remember what month that is. I suck. Anyway, um, so close that. Now, when you restart the computer, hold Option, Command, C, and I. I'm just going to have to have two hands to, you to do that, so give me a moment and I'll get it up. You can see a picture of the development team. Yep, here we go. There they all are, the people that developed the 2CI. Notice how Steve Jobs wasn't there because he had no part of this system. Obviously, uh, you can either switch the computer off now or do whatever, but it's safer to click it and then let it boot up again. I'll cut this all out and show you it shutting down. Okay, well, here's a shutdown time for Windows to try and beat. Let's just see. Starting from now. And it shut down. Yes, that is completely off. Of course, except for the monitor. Which I'll switch off now. Anyway, there you go, that's my Macintosh 2CI.